Hey, up, Rich. Uh, just sum that one up for us, first of all. Cool. Um, well, the, the big thing that hurt us were, uh, were what we did and what we didn't do with the ball, James. You know, our uh, in good ball, you know, never built any pressure. Went chasing points on play two and play three and threw ourselves into touch. Got half breaks and looked to kick the ball instead of building any pressure. So, mate, I think when we look back on that, we'll see a game that were exclusively played in our half for the, for the big percentage of the game. Uh, given that, I actually thought we defended all right. You know, I thought we defended his try line pretty well. But when you when you you know when you're prepared to give that amount of field position away. Um, you know, our, our discipline with the ball were atrocious, just, just atrocious. Um, but I thought we tried to back it up defensively really, really well. And again, undernumbered for a, a big chunk of the game again. So, uh, you know, I, could, I can find some positives in that. But I think I think we barely had 13 sets in the second half. Uh, you know, it's good ball completion was as low as it's ever, ever been uh, while I've been here. Um, and I think that ultimately, when we look at the the bigger picture, is as I say, James, the, the game will the game will just played in our half, pretty much from start to finish. How disappointed were you with Matt Pryor's double simbining? Um, we get simbins every week. Very quick to get simbins. Simbins on the back of touch judges who are forty meters away giving reports. Uh, I think if we look at our sim binnings this year and on an isolated on their own merits, you know, I'm just not real sure, James. I'm, I'm just not real sure, mate. I, I think, uh, you know, Richie Miley got sim I think against Salford for nothing. Zane got sim binned again, Huddersfield for nothing. Last week were a penalty, but if, if they're sim bins, we're going to have a lot of sim bins, mate. But yeah, we, we know that, uh, I think, you know, we we know that we're working. We're going to have to work to very, very, very high standards at the moment because we are very quick to give penalties away and sim bins. That's how, that's how it feels from our standpoint, James. Do you know what I mean? That's how it feels from our standpoint, mate. And you know, we obviously need some clarification because, uh, you know, there's a fair bit of moaning and groaning when it's happening at the moment. And then, uh, you know, a lot of it rests with us. You know, I'll talk about discipline with a ball uh, that were atrocious today. So we've got to live that discipline a little bit better. But at the same time, I say we, we, we're we having to adhere to some unbelievably high standards in that department at the moment. Have you got a prognosis on Callum McClelland at all? No, he's still in there as, as I've come out. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, you know, first indications... Uh, yeah, he's, he's in a bit of discomfort um, and they're still looking at him now. So, yeah, too, too early to say. Um, <clears throat> where does this, in terms of the playoff picture, what, what sort of pressure does this put on the remaining fixtures? And just lastly from me. Um, well, I think, I think we always knew it was going to go down to the wire. Um, I think it still rests with us, James. And um, we don't know what the results are today. I think all got beat, didn't they, at Salford today? Uh, Cass have to play Wigan and and OK, I've got a tricky tie at Huddersfield. If you can ask me in three or four hours, I think I can probably give you uh, a better answer. Um, but, but, but again, mate, you know, coming up with performances like that aren't, aren't going to get us very far. And I'm confident we can fix it up too. You know, again, we've uh, at lightweight field had limited, limited preparation into the game. Uh, we've had a day on them, so I would have expected... Uh, a little bit more, uh, but at the same time, uh, I think it, you know when you get to the position where you, you're playing as much football in a short space of time, you know you, you can have some effects on your squad too. Uh, and I think that's right across the board in the competition. So we'll see, mate. I think it's still very much rest with us. Uh, with three games left, two of them around guys, yeah, teams that are obviously very close to us. Uh, so it'd be down to us. Cheers, Rich. Thanks, mate. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, hi, Rich. Hi, Pete. Um, just on the, not directly related to today's game, but you're talking about, obviously, the Simbinins and stuff. Tetavana got, got the three-match ban. Are you, are you going to appeal that? 
do you think? Uh, yeah, we think so. We'll, we'll have a good look at it. Yeah, we, we think so. Again, just the severity of it, really. Um, Morgan Gannon obviously dropped out today. Was was that just rested because of the game time he's had recently? It's yeah, rested. He just thought he, he got a, a a little bit of a bang, and you know I think it's wise at seventeen year old again. He's, he's played a lot of game time over the last three weeks. Not to uh, you know we, we're very mindful of where he's at in his development, mate. And uh, you know we just felt that giving a little bump that he'd got today a rest war. Uh, you know, we're, we're just wise, given uh, given what he's been through over the last couple of weeks. You know, he's seventeen year old. We just got to be careful. Um, we're not putting him under too much duress so early in his career. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, mate. Uh, Richard, just on the sitting winnings you mentioned earlier, um, do you think? I mean, there's been a lot of debate about refereeing standards in Super League in general. Or do you feel that's the issue, or is it more perhaps that that Leeds have been unfairly hit a few times this season? Um, I guess I'd like someone to answer that for me, John, if that makes sense. Yep. Uh, I, I'd like I'd like to answer me to say, have we been unfairly hit? Or, you know, is that just a, a, a you know, a dreadful run of bad luck? Uh, or do all these tackles, what I'm seeing, warrant warrant bins? Uh, you know, I think, I think primarily, John, you know, we have got to make the game safe, haven't we? You know, the game needs to be as, as safe as it can. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I think we've been very, very trigger happy with the cards at times. And, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking for some feedback because some bits of feedback I've had is that, um, yeah, we have had some guys wrongly simbing, but it keeps happening to us. Uh, whether today or not, again, I'll look for, I'll look for some direction from the guys that make those decisions, but. Yeah, I think I'd like someone to tell us if if that's a bigger problem for us or whether it's a bigger problem for the people that are making the decisions on it, really. Or a bigger problem for the rules, John, too. You know, maybe maybe some of that, you know, needs to go into account the way, um, you know, what we're actually implementing now.